Whispers of the Past. Chapter 5, The Spirit's Anguish. The night had fallen quietly, the world outside Kira and Ethan's window holding its breath as if in anticipation of the revelations to come. In the depths of this silence, Kira drifted into sleep, her mind heavy with the day's discoveries and the weight of the pendant against her skin. Her dream began as a whisper of memory, not her own, but that of her ancestor, the shaman whose legacy she now bore. She saw through the shaman's eyes, felt their connection to the earth and the spirits that danced within the wind, the water, the fire, and the shadow. The world was vibrant with unseen energy, a tapestry of life unseen by most. In the dream, Kira watched as her ancestor crafted the pendant, imbuing it with the essence of the spirit realm, a token of protection and a bridge between worlds. But the creation of the pendant was marred by a shadow, a betrayal that lurked close to home. A figure, shrouded in darkness, coveted the pendant's power, not for protection, but for domination over the spirit realm. The dream shifted, the vibrancy of the world dimming as the shaman confronted the betrayal. A curse was uttered in desperation, binding the traitor's spirit to the pendant, a guardian turned prisoner, condemned to watch over the lineage, but never to rest, never to find peace. Kira awoke with a start, the room bathed in an ethereal glow emanating from the pendant. It pulsed softly, like a heartbeat, its light casting shadows that seemed to whisper secrets long kept. And then, the voice clear and filled with a sorrow that tugged at the very fabric of her soul. Help me! It pleaded, a simple request that carried the weight of centuries. The realization of what she had seen, what she had felt in the dream, settled upon Kyra with a gravity that left her breathless. The pendant, her family's legacy, was not just a bridge between worlds. It was a prison for a tormented spirit, wronged and bound by ancient betrayal. Ethan, stirred by Kira's awakening, watched in concern as she recounted the dream, the glow of the pendant dimming as if in response to her voice. Together, they pondered the implications of her vision, the truth of the pendant's creation, and the spirit's plea for release. The revelation of the spirit's anguish was a turning point, a call to action that neither Kyra nor Ethan could ignore. It was clear that their journey was about more than uncovering family secrets or understanding the pendant's powers. It was about righting a wrong, about healing a wound that had festered in the shadows of their lineage for generations. Determined to unravel the mystery of the betrayal and the curse, Kira and Ethan set out to seek answers, guided by the spirit's plea and the knowledge that the path ahead was fraught with challenges. Their resolve was tested, not just by the dangers that lay in wait, but by the fear of what freeing the spirit might mean for Kira and the legacy she had inherited.